We'll start with, with uh, where are we going here? We'll start with you at the front, please. Hi, yeah. Um, how are you feeling in terms of your body and how close <clears> to <throat> this being kind of as, as good as it gets? Uh, well, it can, my body certainly can get better, um, but uh, realistically, not a whole lot. Um, you know, it's been through a lot, and at 46, you don't quite heal as well as you do at 26. Um, so, yeah, it, it is what it is, you know, and uh, uh, just lucky enough to, uh, in our sport, to be able to play as long as we, we are able to play, and, you know, late into the 40s, and especially on um, Lynx golf courses like this, you can contend into your 50s. You know, we saw Tom have it on his putter to win, you know, late in his 50s. Um, so it, it can be done. Um, it just takes a lot of knowledge and, and understanding how to play this golf, this type of golf. And, uh, you know, with the fairways being fast and firm, it allows, you know, players who are older to you know, run the ball out there and have a chance. Okay, next question, Ian, front left. Tiger, just how different does it feel this time around, it being the 150th Open and with so much emphasis mm. <clears throat> on history this week? It, it really does. It, it feels um, more historic than it, it normally has, and it's hard to believe that, you know, because we are coming back to the home of golf, and it is history every time we get a chance to play here. But there's... You know, so much that's going on this week, you know, the bill to play, you know, yesterday with uh, Lee Buck and um, to hear him chatting the entire time over every shot as he's hitting the shot. Um, and, and, and just to be able to have that type of experience. And tonight we're going to have our, our champions dinner because uh, we only do it here. Um, and, you know, it's hard to believe it. It's been 150 years we played this tournament, and it's just incredible. The, the history behind it, the champions that have won here. And uh, uh, as I said, it's hard to believe it. it's, mo it's more historic, but it really is. It does feel like that. Um, th this does feel like it's the, the, the biggest Open Championship we've ever had. And just to follow up on that, obviously, as a two-time Open winner, Greg Norman, wasn't invited to all that is going on at the moment. I just wonder what your reaction to that decision was, Tiger. Well, the RNA and um, obviously had their uh, opinions and their rulings and the, their decision. Um, uh, Greg has has done some things that I I don't think that's in the best interest, you know, of our game. And we're coming back to probably the most historic and traditional place um, in in our sport. And uh, I believe it was the right thing. Yeah, Joy at the front, please. Tiger, you've always uh, said that this golf course is probably one of your most favorite golf courses. It is my favorite. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> over the years and now when you're playing, does that still give you that kind of challenge given all the advances of the ball, mm. the equipment? Or is it posing some new challenges? Uh, yeah, they, they've lengthened a few holes since I first played here in 95. Um, and they obviously, they lengthened eight this year. Um, but yeah, it, they, I think every, every pop bunker has gotten a little bit deeper. Um, you know, I, I remember it's kind of funny when you look back at some of the old historic videos of uh, the guys playing out of the, the road hole bunker. I mean, it really wasn't that deep. Um, now, I mean, you can't see the grandstands when you get in there. All you see is clear blue sky. Uh, so, it, yes, with the, even with the advancements in technology, this golf course still stands the test of time. I mean, it, it's still very difficult, and it's obviously weather dependent. Uh, if you get the winds like we did today, I mean, it, it's, it's a hell of a test. I mean, yeah, what do we do on, on 10? Uh, I hit a six iron from 120 yards. Um, it was blown so hard, and so it. You just don't get. You just don't have opportunities to hit shots like that. You know, anywhere else. Um, then, then again, if you get a calm day on this golf course, you're going to see some players probably have uh, four to five eagle putts. So, uh, it, it is weather dependent. The, the greens, the fairways are. I think right now are, are faster than than, than, the, than the greens. Um, so it, it's funny when you hit some of the chip, chip shots and some of the bump and runs, um, you have to allow more speed early and then 
play for breaks when they hit the green. But again, with the amount of slope that's on these greens, if they get them too fast, it's it's unplayable when winds gets up. And we saw that when when Louis won, yeah. we had a wind out. So uh, we we don't want that to happen. And uh, it's understandable why they're on a little bit on the slower side. Okay, yeah, Stephanie, front right, please. Hi, Tiger. Um, after your accident, did you ever think that it would ever be possible that you'd be back here playing in the Open Championship at the home of golf? And, and because of that, does it make this the most special one yet? You know, I, I had, for the most part of the, my rehab was just the f I was hoping that I, I could walk again, you know, walk normal and, um, and have a, a normal life and maybe play a little hit and giggle golf, you know, with my son or my friends at home. Um, but lo and behold, I'm, I've played championship golf this year. And uh, once I realized that I could possibly play at, at a high level, you know, my, my focus was to get back here at St. Andrews to uh, play in, in this championship being as I said, it's the most historic one we've ever had. And uh, I just didn't want to miss this Open, you know, here at the home of golf. This has meant so much to me. This is where I completed the career Grand Slam. Um, at the time, I had you know, the record and scoring in all, all four major championships. So it, it meant a lot to me. And this venue has meant a lot. Uh, I remember coming around here, my, my very first practice round, I couldn't believe how like stupidly hard this place is because I played every hole into the wind. I happened to have the tide change and I played every hole in the wind. I'm like, where do you drive some of these par fours? And I, this, this is not what people say it is. And all of a sudden it changes and I see, you know, you say, oh, cool. these bunkers are now in play. I was like, well, it's, it's amazing at the ingenuity that they had then that, um, this golf course has stood the test of time to the best players, and as long as we've gotten collectively as a field, um, this golf course is still a challenge. Okay, Jeff, for the front, please. Uh, Tiger, you've played a lot of practice uh, this week. What um, have you learned anything new about the golf course, and and is there anything in particular you're trying to get uh, dialed in out there? Uh, I'm just trying to get used to this, the the speed of the the, the fairways and getting used to hitting the ball down and also giving more um, wide berth on, on shots, allowing for more drift on the wind. The wind just gets, the ball just gets eaten up here. But, you know, when you play on, uh, on links courses and seaside courses, the air is heavier and you just got to give it more room. And sometimes it's just hard to see that. And hard to understand. You got to give it a little 30 more yards, and because obviously it's gonna it's gonna bounce, it's gonna roll, and then it's gonna roll out another you know 40 yards once it lands, and that's just with a seven iron in your hand, you know. So it trying to get my mind right for for that. Um, I've been trying to do that, but the only way you can truly do it actually is to get out here and experience it. And today was a, today was good. It was good to play in, in this much wind. Um, because uh, uh, I know the forecast isn't for this much wind for the rest of the week, but it was good to to, to get my mind opened up for, for these type of golf shots that, that potentially I'm going to have to play. Okay, Mark at the front, please. Tiger, um, there's been a lot of photos on the bridge yeah. yesterday with, with, with the gang yeah. and, and today with Erica and whatnot. Um, has it felt <clears throat> at all different uh, because of where you've come from and because of the fact that we may not be here for another however many years? when you go over that bridge? And, and secondly, what do you think your anticipation is of how you'll feel when you do walk over it for the last time on Sunday, for the week? Um, you know, it, when I, f I, I have a photo in my office when I, when I first played my first practice run, and I have that in my office, me sitting there, and, um, and it, it means a lot. I mean, the history and then the people that have walked over that bridge and I, I, I tell you what, I mean, honestly, now I got to be a little more careful with spikes on on that bridge. Uh, I don't quite have <laughs> the agility that I used to. Um, almost ate it today. So um, it yesterday to have, you know, Lee and, and Rory and Jack, I mean, just, just stand there with them. I mean, I mean, that's that's history right there. You know, those guys are 
Um, you know, I watched them play this Open Championship, waking up, you know, the telecast <coughs> would come out at 5 a.m. on the West Coast. Um, be a little chance to, to watch them play and to see them hit the shots and and listen to Lee Buck talking about, uh, you know, the small ball, you know, playing over here and uh, what, what he used to do with it. And, you know, these, these are these are things that... And then tonight, well, we're, we're going to have these opportunities to talk about things like that. And that's what makes it so special. And um, everyone has seemed to have made their farewell there. You know, I got a chance to watch Arnold do it. Uh, I, sorry, I watched Arnold hit his first tee shot on the second day um, in 95. And, and that was quite special. I was, I was going on the range and just happened to time it up and and I seen you hear, you know, on the tee, you know, Ivor, I, would, I, would think, I would think he was announcing at the time uh, from USA, you know, Arnold Palmer. And, you know, he gets up there and gives the big old waggle and hits it right down the middle fairway and his head's bobbing all over the place. Uh, so, you know, in seeing that, and, and I played probably about four, five holes behind Jack and Tom uh, when Jack retired in 05. And here the roars get louder and louder and louder as we came, came towards the towards the finish, and you could hear the the fans um, and the ovations that that Jack got coming up 18 uh, for the last time, and then the roar because obviously he made the putt. I mean, he wasn't going to miss that putt. Uh, so, and we were talking about that yesterday, and, and you know who's. Uh, he's, he, he claims he's never missed a putt. And I, mean, I said, well, <laughs> yeah, that he can, he can recall. So um, it, it, it's, it's great to be a part of this Open Championship. It, as I said, it, it feels more historic. Um, and I'm looking forward to the challenge.